I'm going to divide the project into two circuits. The first one is going to be a LED flashing circuit using a triple five timer IC. And the next one is going to be a seven segment display along with the 4026 IC. Let's go ahead and let's connect our timer IC to the breadboard. Connect pin 4 and pin 8 of the IC to the positive rail of the breadboard. And here is pin 8. Pin 1 has to be connected to ground. Connect pin 2 and 6 of the IC to each other. Let's connect the 100 microfarad capacitor with anode connecting to the second pin of the IC and cathode to the ground. Now let's extend our third pin and the seventh pin. Connect the 1 kilo resistor to the power and to the pin 7 of the IC. Let's connect our potentiometer, the VCC pin of the potentiometer is going to be connected to the pin 7. And let's connect the middle pin of the potentiometer to the pin 2 of the IC. Perfect. Now let's connect the anode of the LED to the third pin of the IC and the cathode is going to be connected to the ground using a 330 ohm current limiting resistor. Let's connect the rails of the breadboard to each other. So let's connect the power supply. I have 5 volts coming to the circuit. So there might be a problem with the wiring here. I've connected the resistor to the 6 pin of the IC. Now let's test once more. So as you can see the LED flasher circuit works successfully. Now I'm going to disconnect the power supply. I'm going to continue with the 7 segment display which is common cathode and 4026IC connect pin 8 pin 2 and pin 15 of the 4026IC to the ground and here is the 15 pin And I'm going to connect pin 16 to positive rail of the breadboard. As well as pin 3. Connect the 330 ohm resistor to the common cathode pin of the display and to ground. And now let's connect the I see to the 7 segment display pin 9 is going to be connected to segment D pin 10 to segment A pin 11 to segment E Pin 12 to segment B, which is going to be here. Pin 13 to segment C. Then we have pin 6, which is going to be connected to pin, I'm sorry, to segment F. And the last one, segment G is going to be connected to pin 7 
which is over here. So we make some space over here. Now that's good. Let's zoom out a little bit. Finally, we are going to connect the output pin of the triple five timer IC, which is over here, to the clock pin of the 4026 IC. We are done with the setup of the project. Now let's connect our power supply. As you see, the seven segment display counter works successfully. The triple five timer IC generates a pulse which can increment the decimal numbers on the display since it is connected to the clock pin of the 4026IC. By changing the potentiometer, we can change the flashing rate of the LED, we can make them faster, so that on the display the numbers would change faster. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks and have a good day.